All hands to the pump once again on this Royal Enfield Crusader. I came in this morning and checked and uh, the oil level was very low on a dipstick. I started it up, ran it for a few minutes and the oil disappeared off the dipstick and I've been investigating why. Um, it wasn't all puking out to breathe the pipe into the bottle, although there's been a small amount has gone into that. This, I'm draining oil from the actual crankcase now, not the oil tank. That is with the plug removed from um, the scavenge pump uh, line and I've already got that much oil out the crankcase. But when I undid the bolt, the first thing I got was a little clack of something metal dropping into the oil and I got it out and it's another bit, I actually got them in here, um, that's the main bit that I got the other day. Uh, obviously rem remnants of bits of piston or something when this engine's obviously had a blow up sometime in the past. And it's looking more and more like there might be some uh, leftover bits in the crankcase which uh, I'm going to take the primary cover off again and have a look at that filter, the scavenge filter and see uh, if there's any more debris in that. But clearly something has gone wrong since I fitted the new oil pumps and uh, got everything supposedly working quite nicely. I think something else has got sucked up and blocked up the mechanism somehow because I've even uh, slackened off the um, it's a little screw in the oil tank filler net. We'll go around and have a look at it which bears down on a spring loaded ball and actually diverts some of the oil that's supposedly returning to the tank part of the engine to the rocker feed. So I don't really think that there's very much return oil coming through and that could be if the crankcase isn't scavenging as fast as it should there'd be some extra residual oil in there which will aggravate the breather situation and could well be the cause of the spitting uh, oil out the breather pipe that we've been having since fitting a new oil pump. So what I'm going to do, take this off next and have another look at that uh, scavenge filter which I know was perfectly clean last time I saw it but I wouldn't be surprised if something else has got drawn into the pipe work and perhaps is uh, partially blocking it. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. We've still got oil running out there. Now there should have only been an egg cup full at most but we've got quite a large amount there so that's where a lot of the oil that's disappeared off the dipstick has got to. And I also think that the oil that gets returned in the primary chain case via the primary chain flinging it onto a little weir which I can show you on this old primary cover here is that there the clutch and the primary chain all spinning round and oil gets flung off the top caught in that weir and sent back to the oil tank part of the uh, engine. I think there might possibly be some kind of, um, uh, perhaps it's not working as well as it should, but especially when the engine's cold, any oil that's trapped in here, any excess oil will be cold and thicker than when it's at running temperature and less likely to fling back. So that could actually explain a drop in the oil level to begin with that then comes back to normal later. But in this case, we haven't been scavenging properly, so the oil levels dropped and not come back up. So uh, more on this soon, I hope, and perhaps I'll eventually crack it. That would be good.